Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Another interesting question came from you guys. I'm glad you guys are paying attention and learning and asking questions, which is very important in the field of knowledge to be able to ask questions and be able to get the answers for it. So question is half the knowledge and answer is the other half. So the question is that was the Prophet's mother Amina from Medina? Because I've heard that she is from Medina and that was the reason that she took Prophet wasallam to Medina so that she can take him to his, her family. Well, that's an incorrect information. Prophet Muhammad wasallam's mother was purely from Makkah. We'll talk about her ancestors today from father and mother, both sides. And you will be surprised to know a few things. I've told you a little bit about her father's side, but I'll also tell you about her mother's side. And also, you need to remember that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's father, Abdullah, passed away in Yathrib, which is now Medina. The old name was Yathrib. And when he was returning, uh, after a trade that they used to do in summertime, they would go up north to Syria, the Meccans, and upon coming back, he fell sick and while he was very close to Yathrib, he was at a state where he could not continue the journey. So he stopped by at Yathrib. Why Yathrib? You have to go one generation up. Abdul Muttalib, the father of Abdullah, was born in Yathrib. So Abdul Muttalib's mother, Salma, is from Yathrib. So Abdullah stopped by in Yathrib. That's where his maternal grandmother is from, Selma, maternal grandmother. So he stopped by in Banu Najjar. That's where his Abdul Muttalib, his father's mom's side is. So he's in his relatives. So Amna had no relatives in Medina or Yathrib. It was Abdullah's maternal grandmother and her tribe, which is Khazraj, sub-branch, Banu Najjar. So they were there. So Abdullah stopped by there and he stayed there for a few days and then he passed away in Yathrib and he was buried there. And then when the news came to, to Mecca, Amina could not go and visit the grave of her beloved husband. Until Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came back from Halima Sa'diya and around the age of between age of five, six, when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was around that age, where he grew enough to an extent where he could take the travel burden from Mecca to Medina, that's when Amina decided to take her son Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to go and visit his father's grave. And also, Amina had also never visited her husband's grave. So this would give her an opportunity to pay that visit. And then they had a place to stay because Prophet Sallallahu grandfather, Abdul Muttalib's mom side, her mother passed away. Abdul Muttalib's mother passed away by this time. But other relatives were still in Medina. That's why when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at the age of 53 migrated to Medina, the people of Banu Najjar wanted the Prophet Muhammad to stay with them in their tribe, telling that, O oh Prophet, we are the closest relatives of you because your great-grandmother was from Banu Najjar, Salma. That is why when Abdul Muttalib went to meet Saif, as I already told you, after the reconquest of Yemen and liberating Yemen from the rule of Abraha's children by the Persian army, and Saif regained some control over the Yemen, Abdul Muttalib went to visit Saif. And you have asked me to give you the detailed account of that meeting, but in that I, I made a reference in a video before I made a reference that I will talk about the detail meeting but one of in during the conversation Saif was told by Abdul Muttalib that he's the son of Hashim through Salma and Saif is also Yemeni Salma being from Banu Najjar the branch of Khazraj which is also from Yemen 
So he made a statement, Oh, you are the son of our sister. That was not, Salma was not his real sister. It was just like, since Salma's tribe is also from Yemen, and Saif is also from Yemen, because of being from Yemen, he called her sister. So in that regard, because some of you misunderstood that, uh, and said, oh, so Abdul Muttalib's uncle was safe? No, 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 no. So I hope this cleared, clears up that doubt as well. Okay. So now Prophet ﷺ went to Medina with his mother to stay there for a few weeks while he was visiting his father's grave and spending some time in Abdul Muttalib's family. And this was an arrangement made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Prophet had to come back to the city. That's when, when Prophet migrated to Medina, he used to talk about those days that he spent in Medina as a child. Again, when we start going into the details of that, we will talk about that. But not today. I just wanted to clear this, that Amina, the mother of the Prophet, was not from Medina. So where was she from? Well, she was purely from Mecca. As I told you that her father's side is Amina, the daughter of Wahab, the son of Abd Manaf, who is the son of Zohra, who is the son of Kilab. Remember Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's ancestor Kilab? So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is from the Prophet Muhammad's father, Abdullah, is from Kilab's one son, Qusay, that Abdullah, the son of Abdul Muttalib, the son of Hashim, the son of Abd Manaf, the son of Qusay, the son of Kilab. And Amina is from another son of Kilab called Zuhra. So they're both from Quraysh's branch, Kilab. And from the Kilab, one is from Banu Zuhra, Amina, and another one is from Banu Qusay, which is Abdullah. So that's Amina's father's side. Now you must be like, okay, what about Amina's mother's side? Now Amina's mother's side is purely from Banu Qusay. Look at it like this. Amina's mother is Barra. Her name is Barra. Her father is Abdul Uzza, the son of Uthman, the son of Abdul Dar. Have you heard that name Abdul Dar before with me, right? Abdul Dar is the son of who? Qusay. So Qusay had many sons. Abd Manaf, Abdul Uzza, Abdul Dar. All of these are Qusay's sons. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's father is from the son of a Qusay through Abd Manaf and Amina's mother, Amina's mother's father, that means Amina's maternal grandfather is from another son of Qusay, Abd Dar. Okay, now let's look at Amina's mother's mother, means Amina's maternal grandmother. Her name is Umm Habib. Umm Habib is the daughter of Asad, and Asad is the son of Abdul Uzza, who is the son of Qusay. So from Amina's mother's side, Amina's maternal grandfather and maternal grandmother, both of them are from the children of Qusay. One through Abdul Dar, another one through Abdul Uzza. And Amina's father's side, which is Wahab, is coming from Banu Zuhra, which is the son of Kilab. So from both sides, she is 100% what? Quraysh. Quraysh. So I hope that clears up your doubt as to if she is from Yathrib. No, Abdul Muttalib, the grandfather of the Prophet Wasallam, his mom is from Yathrib. And that's how there is a Yathrib relationship of Prophet ﷺ. And what does that tell you? That tells you that Prophet ﷺ, through his great-grandmother had a Yemeni connection. Was connected with Yemen through Banu Najjar, through Khazraj, and then through ya to Yemen. So this is how Khazraj were related to Prophet ﷺ, the Ansar of Medina, in particular Khazraj, in particular Banu Najjar. 
Uh, the reason I'm repeating this so many times and I'm going slower, some of you will be like, okay, we got it. But others would be like, hold on a second, slow down, this is too fast. So I'm just trying to help you understand these relationships. It, it may be difficult, you may not get it the first time, but the more you look at this stuff, the more you understand it. And next time I want to tell you about one more shocking news. Some of you might never have paid attention to this before. That Khadija, the wife of the Prophet wasallam, is also related to Amina, the mother of the Prophet Muhammad. How? We'll talk about it next time. I'm pretty sure you would be interested to know. But still let me know in the comment section below. Till then, assalamu alaikum.